Hi guys, this is Shannon and I am here to show you a craft that I've been working on all day today. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I know you know about hot cocoa bombs. They're all the trend right now. They seem to be a big hit with the holidays and I was standing in my pantry this morning and looking at a hot cocoa bomb and I just had a huge epiphany and decided I wanted to paper craft a version of a hot cocoa bomb. I thought that would be a lot of fun for Happy Meal swaps and um, gift giving and just to make and have fun with and embellish and stuff and fill. So I spent the day um, with my SVG files to create what I was happy with for my first round of hot cocoa craft bombs. So I'm going to call them crafty bombs. Um, and this is what I came up with. So these are just a, uh, three of the ones I decorated today. So I'll call this one a strawberry chocolate crafty bomb. This one I have the chocolate base and a pattern paper that kind of looks like sprinkles on the top. And I did gear these a little more towards Valentine's Day just because that's right around the corner and this is such a fun idea. And then this one I got super creative with and squirted a whole bunch of red paint on top and then set that with my hot air gun and um, stiffen and hardened that acrylic paint so it kind of looks like the melted candy chocolates that you would find on a real cocoa bomb so that was a lot of fun to do and then i went ahead and made a little coffee cup um, and brought my other one down just to stage for fun this is paige evans paper that i used for this cup and i'll just give you a little quick overview of these super cute crafty bombs so to start with this one this was the first one that i made today um, i finicked with it a little bit to figure out how i wanted to do it by the time i got to my third one i was really having a lot of fun so the general idea here is that just like a cocoa bomb you would put it in your mug and you'd pour your hot milk over top and out would pop marshmallows and your hot cocoa powder and a fun little surprise inside so I just decided to make it my own version and instead of hot cocoa we have glitter and instead of marshmallows we have a um, little heart ephemera and some white pom-poms. I do wish I had more pom-poms to do in all of mine today. Even some pink ones would have been fun but this is what I had so far to come up with so I thought that was super cute and this would be so fun for a Happy Meal swap to fill with sequins and other embellishments of your choice. And then um, this one was my second one I made today. I kind of made it just sweet and simple. I used a Tim Holtz die for the love and then a Sizzix die for the heart. There's nothing else on this one yet. I'll probably decorate it up a little bit more, but I did do some charms. Um, this one doesn't really stay shut any other way, so if you wanted to mail it, it would be kind of tough unless you wanted to give it in a gift with a box. It'd be the best way for this one. But I did want to think of a way where you could kind of just hold these around and not have the top and bottom come apart. So I did thread it with a little bit of ribbon and then I used wax thread. I'm sorry, not ribbon. And then when you untie it, you just pull it and it stays connected to your hot cocoa bomb that way. And this one I filled with some beautiful floral ephemera by Paige Evans as well. And that's just an example of what you could do for a Happy Meal swap, just stuffing some surprise ephemera in there. And the sweet part about this is when you put it back together, I'll go ahead and give it a little quick tie off here. Um, I made the little coffee cup to show that you can fit it inside the coffee cup for another gift giving or Happy Mail swap option. So here I made the Lori Whitlock mug and it fits right inside here. And then you can put your cap right on top, stuff that with goodies, fill out your tag on the front and there you have a super cute gift option. So I think these are so sweet and so fun. I haven't stuffed this one yet. Um, it just finished drying and as you can see, it dried perfectly well. I did start gluing some sequins on for some glitter on there, glittery effect. But this would be a vanilla strawberry cocoa bomb. So I hope you love these as much as I do. I had so much fun making them today. It was a lot of um, tweaking at the beginning, but once I got it down to how I wanted it to be, it went pretty fast. And there's only 12 cuts. There's like a six, six pieces for the top and six for the base. I did use, um, and I'll link it, Simply Crafty SVGs has an ice cream cone file. And this is actually the top to the ice cream. And the base, I just altered the scoop a little bit and I took off one of the flaps just to shorten it. And it made the perfect cocoa bomb. And I looked around all day for an SVG that would be circle or round and it was really tough to find and I came across the ice cream scoop and I just knew by looking at it I can make it into what I wanted so 
There's a hundred different ways you can do these. I hope you have fun with it. Tag me in what you come up with. I'll share as much as I can on my Instagram and link um, the files and what I use to make these. And if you guys are really interested, I can show a process video on YouTube. Just let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching.